What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. Today we have a really special video. So you guys do know that me, my sister, and brother are actors other than just YouTubers? Well today, everybody, we're all in quarantine. So the cast and directors are sending out self-tapes for us to do. So we're going to show you guys how to do your own self-tape at home to book that job. Today, I'm teaching how to do a self-tape audition from home. So guys, let me tell you what a self-tape audition is. When the casting director wants you to audition for something and you either aren't in the city or you don't or they don't want to have people go in for it or you can't go in for it, they'll have you tape it from home. Let me tell you what the first step is. When you get an audition, your agent will email you the sides, usually. And, guys, you gotta memorize these first. The sides are the script of the, a scene, or whatever they want you to memorize, and that is the first step. That is the main step. You don't wanna be out there, the cat said, mm, what? Yes. Because it is pretty slim for you not to get that. You have to have it memorized to make it look really good and act it out. So memorize the sides first. Before I show you my filming setup, we got to talk about what we have to wear. So guys, you need to know your character. And if it's a bully, if it's a nerd, or if it's a shy kid, that's where it's based on what you're wearing. And make sure. It does not need to be distracting. You should really wear plain shirts because the directors are going to be like, ooh, I like the shirt, and they'll forget all about what you're saying. So, plain shirt is usually what I wear. I'll wear something that looks good on me. So, it's either one of these two or other one. Just remember, make sure to wear something that looks good on you and make sure you know the character. Let's go look at the studio setup. Okay, welcome to my studio. Alright, you see so many lights, but not a lot of people would have four to six lights. But we have a lot because we do these YouTube videos and a lot of people would have one or two lights. But make sure, have a good lighting source because you want to look good during it. Here's a light source that you don't have to buy light. So, it's called a window, guys. Mine is blocked, but we have the lights, so. But make sure, don't be like, hey guys, in front of a window, because it is not going to look good. You want to face towards the window, so the light comes into your face, and you look really, really good. And you can be like, blah, 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 and you do your script. So then it's better to look towards a window, but there's a camera right there. Let me show you why it is so important to use the light from the window the right way. As you can see, I'm in front of a window, but I'm doing it the wrong way. But look, my face is not having good light, so the casting directors hate that. Now let me show you the right way. As you can see, I am facing the window, and light is coming in at my face, and you can see my face much better. And that's how you have good lighting. Here's another tip. You need to be in front of a plain white wall or a plain light wall or something like that. And make sure you don't stand too close because now I'm distracting. Because if I act like, oh, why would you do that? You can see every movement I'm doing on the wall and it's distracting. The tip is, they're not going to like that and they're going to be like, ooh, the shadow. They're going to be like, I like the shadow better. And that's what you do not want them to do. So you step forward and you get the shadow away. So, you look good. Okay, the next tip is make sure there is nothing behind you. Because, remember, we don't want it to be distracting. And we don't want them to look, oh, we need to get that for my house. Or something like that. Something crazy like that. But always, it should be always waist up. And that's what it should be. Listen to what the directors say on the message the text, email, whatever it is. And make sure you listen to that and make sure that you rarely have props. Like there's sometimes that you need a chair and you're sitting down, you're watching some TV or something like that, 
but usually you really don't need props. So next tip. Not everyone has this fancy camera, but if you have any other camera, you can use it. But if you don't have any camera, you can use a cell phone. All right, make sure if you're using your cell phone, it has to be stationary. So if you want to be an actor, then invest in a tripod because they want it stationary and they don't want it to be like, so my name is Sawyer and yes, and make sure you have to hold it this way. They are going to delete yours if you do it this way. They're going to be like, they don't mean how to film. And they're going to be like, boop, deleted. If they do it this way, they're going to be like, ooh, let's look at this one. Because they know that you can do it. All right, next tip. Okay, now we're dressed and got our hair done and stuff like that. And we got all set up. Now it's time to do the slate. Let me show you how a slate is. A slate is basically being like, hi, my name is Sawyer Schultz. I'm 12 years old. I am five blah, 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 how tall you are. And it's usually going to ask your name. It always asks your name, age, and height. And then sometimes they would want to know where you live, if you're available to go to that place, if you're available to work at that place, or do something like that. They will put that on there. Here's an example of my slate. Hi, I'm Sawyer Schultz. I'm 12 years old. I am five foot, four inches tall. That's how you do a slate if you want to be in a, if you're trying out for a movie or TV show. That's how you usually do it. If you're trying out for a commercial, you just be like, Sawyer Schultz, 12 years old, five foot, four inches tall. So it's plain and they just need to know the information. So basically, just listen to the casting director. Because sometimes they want a full body shot where you back all the way up and four seconds. And you smile and you're like, and then it'll go on and you will do your whole audition and you already did your slate and body shot, whatever they ask, what they want you to do. Okay, so basically do the scene and then figure out if the casting director wants them in separate files or just one file. And guys, that is all the tips I have for today. And go comment on my Junior Gizmo's Instagram and tell us if you want us to do another video to show us how to get a agent for acting and stuff like that and do other kinds of videos like that and that's it uh, for this video and make sure to thumbs up the video subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell in the corner so you see more videos and we'll see you next time bye and don't forget to subscribe